today, excuse me. Um, so today I'm going to get my hair done later. And I thought I'd do a little makeup because I want to do some pictures afterwards. But um, yeah, I just kept it pretty simple. Kind of feel like did a little overdid it with the blush. I don't like it. I just like my blush to be like super subtle. So I don't know. But I'm going to go get my hair done in about an hour. I'm gonna leave in about an hour. But um, today is Friday, and uh, it's been a short, long week, that's for sure. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go get dressed. Honestly, I'm just changing my top. Um, and uh, chill for a second, and then I'm going to go get my hair done. All right, guys, got my hair done. Looks so good. I love it. Got a trim. And it's grown so much since I got it done and it, I've only just gotten it done like maybe a little over a month ago So it's growing so much. I mean if you guys remember it used to be up to here probably like last year So I am so satisfied with it. Like I I love it. So let me take my glasses off It's really hot. It's like 90 degrees today. So anyway Glad I got that done. I really didn't feel like doing it myself. So thanks grandma. Appreciate you is there anything on my teeth? No. I have some food there. My grandma is cooking. But yeah. Hi guys. So I've been sick like all weekend. I've had, I don't know if it was the flu or what, but um, I had the aches, the shakes, the fever. I wasn't like, um, I didn't have like a cold, but I could feel like, oh, hey. I was like really congested like right here. So. I feel so much better, so much better. But um, today, I haven't really done anything that much today. Um, except hanging out around the house. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been sick and feeling so much better today. My hair is looking so good right now. So there is like a lot of um, like hurricanes coming. You know, this is hurricane season. And of course, the week, or like this has happened two years in a row already. But I, we always get a, a month off in September from duty. And of course, every time a hurricane comes and we get called to duty. I think they set it up that way. I swear, I swear they set it up this way. So I'm sitting here minding my own business, you know, enjoying my, you know, weekend. And of course, I get a, a message saying, hey, we're evacuating out of wherever the city is, somewhere, somewhere in Georgia, not, not anywhere where, where I live, near where I live, but since I'm a, a line haul unit, we drive long ways, so we're always the first to get called, usually. And, uh, um, I was going to say, yeah, I get a message from one of the sergeants, and they're like, hey, we might get activated. So, sitting here waiting on that, and, um... I'm gonna get my stuff ready just in case. Luckily, I already washed all my uniforms. But dang, that, I mean, I'm happy because it's another check. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna gotta figure out how I'm gonna get school situated. Uh, I'm kind of used to it. A lot of people have asked me, like, how do you balance army and school? And honestly, guys, it is not that hard. Like, it's hard, but it's possible. But it's not as hard as, like, people would think. Well, at least for me, because I'm just a very, like, dedicated person and very, like, if I need to get a job done, I'm going to get it done regardless. Like, it's just, that's just how I am. Um, but I have always, um, like, for the last, I mean, as long as I've been in the Army, I've always found a way to balance school full-time and do Army um, also. Um, even though most of the time I am part-time, but, like, there's been some times where, like, I mean, I've been gone for a while, and I've got, you know, a full load of school. Um, so, um, I mean, I've, you guys have kind of seen that. Um, I've vlogged a lot um, over the years, and, I mean, I'm sitting here standing up try on the side of my truck trying to figure out how to, you know, finish my paper that's due in a few hours or a few days but my biggest advice for anyone who's doing school and military it doesn't you don't even have to be in the army but any branch of the military 
one go to school it's it's so vital like especially nowadays in the military we're kind of moving more towards like i guess professional kind of thing if that makes sense um and they want to see that you're in school like that's more promotion points for you guys and it looks so much better um also if you want to go as into a to become an officer like you gotta have I mean to get you don't I know I learned that technically you don't have to have a, a bachelor's to become an officer but you need a bachelor's you need one um to be considered a, a candidate you can't you just can't like I mean you can make it through your military career with obviously without uh, any kind of education and I'm not going to preach to say that everyone needs to go to college because I don't believe that myself but um I mean it helps <laughs> um and it's you're going to stand out more um <clears throat> you're gonna stand out more if you have a, a batch uh you know some kind of education over someone else so uh, and that's just how the world works um what else but i mean it's possible the last three years of my military career or two years of my military career i've been in school and i've made it work somehow i've made it work and there's plenty of people i know someone who's has one of my friends in my unit who she is um she's doing her masters and she is on it like so no excuses guys no excuses you can do it so i've got an <clears throat> an interview for one of my internships on tuesday i'm trying to get an outfit together i think i'm gonna do this with some black pants i don't know if the pants are the same color i think that's Oof, it's a little off, but I think I might do, and then some heels. I wear these heels right here, or some flats. I'm not sure. And uh, a shirt underneath. I don't know what kind of shirt. Maybe like a pink one. Not pink, but uh, I'll try it on. Um. so new at this well, i'm not new at it but i've never had like a legit like interview interview Ugh, gotta get my portfolio together <sighs> um yeah i've gotta print that out okay so glad i remembered to do this because really <clears throat> resume okay that's all good got my resume in working order I gotta get my cover letter and okay so I only have two more things left to do but um okay. let me write that down on my do list <sighs> adulting at its finest all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog i am ending my night with going over my week um going over my week of, like in my planner and stuff just writing down to do's and like reminders and stuff um just preparing my mind for the week and yeah a lot is going on this week I have an interview on Tuesday I've got a draft two drafts for two different classes due and just appointments and all that stuff so I'm going ahead gonna go ahead and end the vlog thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye guys